This is an acrylic display that is controlled by the Arduino. It works with a similar principle as the 7 segment display, but instead of turning on and off LEDs for the number segments, we turn LEDs below the acrylic part, that has engraved the numbers. The light reflects forward and we can see that number. If light is turned on only below a certain acrylic board, only that board will light up. If we use 10 boards with the engraved numbers from 0 to 9, we can create all the numbers and we could make a clock for example. Now you could buy this as a kit if you want, but I think it is a lot more interesting to use our skills and make one ourselves. For that what I've planned was to use my CNC engraver and some transparent acrylic boards of around 2mm thickness. I create the shapes by editing a simple G-code and send that to the CNC machine using BCNC software. After cutting the acrylic to shape, we engrave each numbers from 0 to 9. Then using a 3D printed case that I've designed, we can create the shape of our display. We can use addressable controlled LEDs and light up each of the numbers of the display, and that should be very easy to control, using just 3 cables for power, ground and data. So let's see the entire process of making one of these displays, what we need for this project, the engraving process and the circuit connection. Make sure you subscribe and activate the notification bell for future videos and updates. So let's get started. This video is sponsored by LCSC, one of the largest electronic components distributor in China with more than 200,000 components shipping worldwide. Their prices are very low and if you buy more components the price could get even lower. The site is fully connected with my favorite CAD platform, Easy EDA. So design your circuit or PCB layout and then you can directly go and order the components from here. So make the order, select the shipping and receive the components in just a few days. So guys, check LCSC and get your electronic components. What's up my friends, welcome back. As you can see, this is the final part that we will make in this video. It has a 3D printed case and in the middle we can see 10 acrylic boards, each one with a different engraved number. On the bottom we have some small holes, so the light could pass only for that assigned acrylic board. In this way, light from the LEDs won't affect the other boards around. And controlling this is very easy, using a simple Arduino. That's because I've used addressable control LEDs that just need one cable for data and will send the command from one to the other in series. In this way we can connect multiple displays in series and control all of them with just one cable, but first let's see how to make one. We start with these 2mm thick acrylic boards. This is transparent acrylic, but is covered by a protective paper film. We remove that later in order to not damage the plastic while working. I've decided to make the shapes 4cm wide and 7cm tall. So we start marking those values on the boards. If you have a cutting circle or saw, that would be great. I don't have one, so in order to make straight cuts, I'll use a metal rule and a cutter. We mark the lines and then we pass the cutter a few times, till we have a deep enough cut. Now what I've done is to place the plastic in between two wood sheets and then I press against the acrylic. That should break the board exactly on the cut. If it doesn't, well you should cut a bit deeper, so pass the cutter a few more times. So now I have 10 boards of 4 by 7 cm. The side with the cut might not be smooth, so maybe pass some sandpaper. This part will be covered by the 3D printed part so we won't see the cut, so don't worry. Now we have to engrave the numbers. You could do that manually or using a CNC engraver. If you don't have the CNC engraver, just draw the numbers on the plastic. Then using an engraving tool or a Dremel, just fold the line and engrave not too deep the line. That should be enough to shine when exposed to light from below. In my case I'll use my Alex Maker CNC engraver. I use this machine with the BCNC software. This will need a G-code in order to work. I've made some numbers in Photoshop for some more round shapes and pass those to G-code using a software called FlatCam. But if you want some simple numbers, this is what I've made. 
open a new text document and start writing the coordinates. First we use the G commands to home the machine. Then for example for the number 1, we go to X3 and Y1. Then we lower the drill to minus 0.05mm and we start engraving. Then we go to 3 and 6 and that's it. We've made a line and that will be our number 1. I do the same with all the numbers and I save the G codes to a TXT file. You have both the simple squared numbers and the G code for the round numbers below. So let's start with number 1 for example. As you can see here we have the G code and we can see where the drill will move. So now remove the protective paper from one side of the acrylic that you will engrave. Now we have to align the acrylic board on the CNC machine. I use these supports and I fix the acrylic in place and make sure that it is aligned with the Y axis. Then I manually move the drill onto the 0, 0 position and that will be our home position. Now you have to lower the drill till it slightly touches the acrylic board. Then in BCNC make that the 0, 0, 0 position and then lift the drill a little bit so it won't mess with the acrylic board. Now you can connect power to the drill. Press start and the number will be engraved. Make sure that the acrylic board is well fixed in place so it won't move. Also that is well flat on the CNC bed, otherwise the engraving depth won't be the same. Once you get how this works, the process is quite easy and fast. Engraving the numbers is less than 1 minute for each number. I've made one set of 10 round numbers and 10 square numbers because I want to make more modules and connect those in series for tests. The engrave process could let you with a mess of small plastic bits. Anyway, once the plastic is engraved, you have to clean it a bit, maybe correct some small errors. Now I will show you an example of how this works. As you can see with no light from below, we can see both numbers, in this case number 1 and 2. Now I make a small hole in this cardboard. I place this hole over the flash of my smartphone. When I place the plastic on top, the number will shine. You must place the acrylic board with the engraved number facing the back of the display, otherwise we won't see the reflection. Now I place both numbers and as you can see, when I move the board along the hole, the light will shine in one or the other number, and like that we can display different shapes. Instead of numbers, you can make this with whatever shape that you want. Ok, now we have the acrylic boards with the numbers. To place this, I've designed this case and printed it with PLA material. As you can see, it has 20 small holes for the light to pass through and shine on the plastic boards. Below this part, we have to place some of these WS 2811 addressable LEDs, 2 LEDs for each number. I've also made some space for the Arduino Nano so we could have everything inside of the case. Print this with PLA material, 20% infill and 2 perimeters. I've used a 0.3mm layer height. The case has 3 parts, 2 for the bottom and one small part that we will put on top to cover the acrylic boards. I first wanted to glue directly the LEDs below of the plastic support, one on top of the other. But there is too little space for that. So I've better designed this PCB that has all the LEDs exactly in front of the holes. But I was already making this project, so till I received the PCBs, this is what I've done. I first removed some LEDs from the LED strip. Getting the LEDs out is very easy with a hot air gun and if you don't have one, just buy directly the LEDs. We know that each LED has 4 pins and those are for ground, 5 volts, data in and data out. Use the multimeter to identify each one. Then I solder the LEDs to a drill PCB like this one. Soldering these small LEDs might take you some time. Then we make the connections with very thin wires. This is also a very slow process and the final result is a mess of wires. That's why it's better to go below this video and download the PCB if you want and then order that to GLC PCB and make this project faster. Anyway, I test the small PCB for each LED and it works. I get the data from one LED to the next one. So to this LED's PCB, we also solder wires to some female pins. This is because I later want to connect multiple displays in series. So we'll place these pins on the exterior of the case. In this way, the signal from one module will go to the next. Solder the Arduino as well and the circuit is ready. 
Now we glued the LED's board on the back of the 3D printed part. I used some hot glue to do that. And also make sure that the LED's are pretty much in front of the holes of the printed part. So now we can glue the Arduino inside of the case and make sure that the USB connector is in front of the back hole. We also glue the female pins on the side of the case. So at this moment we could close it. Make sure that you have all the connections like this. From the LEDs to the Arduino and to the female pins for data in and data out. So I place everything inside. Then I use some small 2mm screws and close the case. Now we can add the top part with the acrylic boards. Push it in a little bit and the display is ready. As you can see the boards are still moving a bit, so we could just make the 3D print a bit smaller so it will apply force on the acrylic boards, or maybe just add some glue at the end. I connect the Arduino to the USB connector and run an example sketch that will turn on all the digits one by one. From the side you can see how the light is passing through each of the acrylic board and each number is glowing. But from the front face we can only see the numbers. And remember, with the WS2811, we can use any color that we want, just by sending a different signal. We can get red, green and blue or any other combination. So that's pretty much how this works. Since we have the data out, we can place another display at the output. Using four of these modules, we could create a digital clock and show the hour and the minute, just as we have done in the vintage digital clock project. But instead of numbers, you could make this with any other shape that you want. So be creative, like for example this Christmas tree with different layers for the stars and the globes. Also remember that if you don't have a CNC machine, you could always draw something by hand on the acrylic board and make it shine with the LEDs. Below the video you have the STL files for the case that I've used in this project, together with the Gerber files for the PCB if you want to order it. But you also have this other case that could have 4 modules in the same case, in order to create a digital clock. So download the schematic and the code for that below this video on electronoobs.com. If you like this video and learn something new, give it a like. Consider subscribing and activate the notification bell. Also consider supporting my work on Patreon. Thanks again and see you later guys.